everyone and welcome to hole number 3, a par 5 of the Porthello Cove in the Summer Major. The video is sponsored by Golf Clash and Playdemic, so let's go! So, as you will be able to see me now, we're going to play in headwind and then, in my opinion, there is only one way to play and that is uh, that we're going to play on the left side. Even though the second shot is going to be tough, we kind of need to do that because to be able to reach for this green in two from the right side, you either need to play yourself up short on the right side and then have to do a double or a triple bounce towards the pin or you will have to have the wind so you can actually go over to the second fairway spot on the right side. So the thing that we're going to do, again, we're going to play left side and as you can see, we're going to play massively uphill and the ball is basically not going to be affected by the wind whatsoever. So like if you adjust for like eight, uh, sorry, if you do have eight in wind, you could basically adjust for three, four miles per hour and you're still going to be and hitting the exact same spot. The key to play here on the left side is not to go too far. And that maybe sounds weird, but the thing that we're looking for there is that we do want to find ourselves in a safe way to stay away from the rough because the fairway do slopes massively down to the right and you're going to see that on my roll of this ball that, uh, that I'm shooting now. As you can see, I'm not using max overpower. I'm just going to use a slight amount of overpower. As you can see, like using around 30% of overpower. And you will be able to see this now here. Look at this roll here as how much down it slopes to the right. And if we're coming in too hot, then we will be rolling in the rough either in the middle or if we are too much on the right side we're going to roll into the rough there as well so to kind of counter for that no matter what type of win we're going to have for our second shot from that distance we're going to have no problem to get it to green even though it's going to be a tough albatross attempt because again the problem we have in the rough we will not be able to reach so then we need to decide are we going to risk uh, the roll that we're going to have because the roll we can't uh, we can't like decide how the roll is going to go, so we kind of need to decide from the beginning are we going to risk that, so might going to put ourselves in the rough, or we're just going to play ourselves safe and have a shot for the green and just have a harder time to make an albatross, but we lock in the eagle. I do say that I do vote for the second, uh, second way that we actually lock in the eagle uh, from this distance. Our opponent here is going to go into the rough because uh, he or she does forget to adjust for the elevation here. We're playing downhill and we're going to add 40% extra. Have that in mind. We're going to add 40% extra and as you can see, even with the sniper, we're going to have, have uh, no problem to reach for the green with the top spin that we do have. I do suggest that you're using a club with a little bit more distance. Don't go with the guardian as the top spin could kill you in that situation, but with a cataclysm. So. We're going to go a lot here. As you see, there is five, there is 10, and there is three and a half. So we went 13 and a half. Also, we go with baby curl to the left. Look at this ball, how much it will travel. And sure, we cut the rough like kind of a lot. So we could have maybe stayed away from the curl, but we're getting it very, very close to the pin. So 40% extra for that adjustment, then you're going to be spot on. So this was hole number three, a part five of the Portello Cove in the Summer Major. The video is sponsored by Gold Clash and Playdemic. And here in the end, I want to wish you the best of luck in the Summer Major.